Hey guys, it's Kaylee here with Microsurvey and today I'm going to do a workflow video um, showcasing the Field Genius for Android GIS field survey into Microsurvey CAD workflow. So without further ado, let's get going. Okay, so right off the go, we're going to take our tablet, open up Field Genius for Android, get our project set up, and um, in order to do this type of survey, we first have to build a feature code list. So I'm gonna walk you through how to do that. So first things first, just open the app. Um, then you're going to select new project in the top right hand corner. Um, set your project name, your units, your angle units, your coordinate system. Um, so the coordinate system, it's really important that you um, set this correctly because when you are going to bring in the GIS data afterwards into uh, Microsurvey CAD with the shapefile exporter, um, the, the two coordinate systems are going to have to match. So if you have a UTM based um, coordinate system in your FGA, but you use an MTM based in Microsurvey CAD, um, your data is not going to come in properly. So uh, yes, make sure that you are using the same coordinate system in both Microsurvey CAD and Field Genius for Android. So, um, and then here where it says code list, so that is asking you um, which codes to pull for your, um, just your regular survey codes. Um, so the default is the survey uh, CTF, but you need to um, hit the drop down, and you're going to hit empty code list. Um, so what that's going to do is make it easier so that when you're actually doing the survey in FGA, um, it's not going to be bogged down with all of your survey codes. It's only going to show the codes that you have set up in your feature code list. So um, open this up and then hit on empty code list. And then where it says feature list, where it says no GIS features, um, you wanna hit the button to the right of that that says feature manager. Then you're going to hit new file and add. It's going to bring you to this dialogue where you will be um, asked to name, name the database file, name the type and name the attribute. So for my survey, I'm doing a very simple survey. I'm just going to do um, a, the tree line and, a, um, and some fencing that's around this property. So I'm just going to type in tree. And then um, you can add the different options. So around here, we've got deciduous trees and coniferous trees. So I'm just adding those two as the different options, but if you like knew more about trees than I do, you could obviously make this a lot more detailed with the, uh, with the different types. Um, so once that is set up, I'm going to add in my next one, which is fencing. Um, so for the type, uh, I'm making these lines. So all that means is that once I take a shot, it's just going to draw a line connecting um, my, in between my points. Um, so this is good, like if you're doing a tree line, for example, if you're doing a fence, for example, that way when I bring it into Microsurvey CAD, I don't have to connect all the dots um, manually after the fact that it's already going to be connected. And that just saves me a little bit of time um, after the fact, once I get back to the office. So um, I just spent a little bit of time in here setting up some different types of fencing. And then um, I hit add and I hit save. So on this screen, um, it gives you the option to name the feature list to whatever you want. I'm just gonna keep it as the default feature list. Um, and then it also gives you the option to lock the file and put like a password on it. So once that's saved, I'm going to go into my feature list drop down here in my project setup. I'm going to select the, uh, the file that we just did hit OK, and then um, get into setting up my connection. So um, this is pretty standard here. Uh, the one thing that you do need to set up 
um, before you do this is just to go down to where it says active tolerances. You want to hit on the little three dots on the right. You want to hit it again under topo point when you go in. So basically the default is for a topo point, like when you are going along doing a topographic survey, um, you want to be doing it as quickly as possible. So the default setting is that it doesn't pop up with the point dialog after every single shot that you take. Um, but we want that to pop up when we do the GIS survey because we want to be able to select um, the right code and, um, and just set up our attributes properly. So you'll see once we get into the survey. And then you're gonna scroll down to the bottom where it says skip new point screen after measure screen. And then you're gonna to toggle that. Okay, so I'm not going to go over the entire survey um, just for the sake of not having a 20 minute long video, but um, I'm gonna go over a quick section here. So basically, uh, let's see, when you take the shot and hit measure, It'll take a few seconds, do the shot. This little dialog that pops up where you're able to um, go to line attributes and set the feature code to, um, so here I did fencing and then I set it as electric because this is an electric fence. Um, so here where it says media, I could also take a photo and attach it carry on with the survey here for a little while. Okay, so once you've done the survey, now it's time to um, export the data. So if you go back to the main menu um, on your tablet in FGA, you're going to see the export button. So tap on that and under file type, it gives you a few different options, coordinate file, raw file, DXF. We wanna hit shape file. And then it gives you some options here. So it's a survey point, survey line, um, fencing and tree line. So I'm going to select fencing and tree line. And then I'm going to hit export. Okay. okay. Um, so now it's going to say that the file is exported and it's going to show you where that file is saved on your tablet. And it also gives you the option to share that file. So I'm going to um, email it to myself so I can open it up on my computer. Okay, now that was sent off. Now we can uh, get into the next part of the workflow, which is bringing that file into MicroSurvey CAD. Okay, so here we go. I have the shape file sent over to my email and I have downloaded that onto my computer. Um, I have MicroSurvey CAD opened up. So yeah, I'm going to walk you through the process of bringing in our survey data um, into MicroSurveyCAD. So here we go. All right, so to bring in our shapefile data into MicroSurveyCAD, I just have um, MicroSurveyCAD open here and I've attached um, some imagery in here so we can kind of see what our GIS data looks like over top of it. Um, so under MS Tools, we have the shapefile import. So select that. Um, let me see here, I've got uh, our tree line. Um, so this uh, GIS modifier um, dialog pops up here. So just a couple things to note on this. Um, you wanna make sure that your coordinate systems are set up. Um, our elevation attributes, um, I'm just gonna make those feature Z. And then another thing you wanna look at is the node settings. So this is going to make sure that any points that were taken are going to be um, added to the microsurvey database, your point database, and those points will be able to be seen in the active coordinate editor and be able to be edited in there. Um, so I'm gonna 
gonna set that to name. My description attribute is going to be tree. Okay. And then this um, box here, you wanna tick this. This is going to zoom to extents after you import it to make sure that uh, it's easy to see. Let's hit import and see what happens. Okay, so there's our tree line. You can see it lines up pretty much bang on with, uh, with the area. Um, I'm just gonna bring in our fence. Same thing, I'm just gonna set those features uh, the exact same way. Except of course I'm going to choose fencing, okay. There we go, and there is our fencing. So that looks like it came in um, perfectly. If you want to manipulate your uh, point data under MS points, you can look here at the um, active coordinate editor. You can see the attributes um, to get more details about that specific point. So that was the electric fence. Um, you can hit on the map to see that specific point on a map but of course we have the imagery attached so you don't really need to do that you can see that we are referenced properly and uh, everything looks great okay that's it for today guys thank you so much for tuning in to um, my video i hope you learned something new uh, be sure to like and subscribe to our channels to make sure that you don't miss out on um, any more of our awesome videos um, thanks again take care till next time bye